Tarakini. Tarakini are point trick taking tarot card games originating from the 17th century. They are the diminutive form of Taraki, referring to the reduction of the Bolognese pack from 78 to 62 cards, which probably occurred in the early 16th century. The games are popular in the Bologna region of Italy and has been confined mostly to this area. Tarakini are very complex games, yet the rules have changed little over the years. Tarakini can be played with a 78-card tarot deck, though normally, a special tarot deck, the Tarocco Bolognese is used. The trump cards have a unique ordering where the second to fifth trumps are known collectively as the Meridian Dare of equal rank. In the Tarocco Bolognese, these cards are depicted with four mores, two of which are identical. The fool is not a trump. It cannot beat any cards and is played as an excuse from following suit. The magician is the lowest trump dot however, both the fool and the magician may be used as conditori to assist in making sequences. The conditori are very valuable, because they can be used as wild cards in multiple locations. The four highest trumps, which are unnumbered, are Angel, World, Sun, and Moon and they are collectively known as Grand. Angel, World, Magician, and the fool are collectively known as Taraki. The cards won by each side are counted in pairs, with one being subtracted from the total for each pair. There are also six points for winning the final trick, giving a total of 93 points. In Tarakini, card points are not as important as bonus or meld points gained from combinations. Combinations can either be associative or sequential. Associative combinations or crikes consist of three or four of a kind sets. There are four types of sequential combinations, although two of them are more like associative combinations. Each sequence needs at least three cards for ten points, and every extra card is worth five points. What separates the sequences from the crikes is the use of the contatory. The contatory may not be used to substitute angel or a king. For trumps, the sequence ends if the contatory are used consecutively with one exception if the two cards replaced are trump 16 and a grand. Multiplicative bonuses occur when three or more crikes or three or more sequences are made at one time. This doubles the points. The four-player version of this game, Autocento, is the most popular version. Autocento is played by four players in two partnerships sitting opposite each other. The middle part of the game is very similar to the basic tarot game. It adds a round of point counting before and after the game based on sets and runs of the cards. An unusual feature is that the partners are allowed to make certain limited signals to each other during play. As usual for tarot card games, dealing and card play are counterclockwise. The dealer gives 15 cards to each player, in three rounds of five cards apiece. The dealer takes the last two cards into his hand. The dealer has to discard two cards, which cannot be five point cards. The cards that the dealer discards are counted as points to his side, unless he and his partner capture no tricks at all during the card play in which case the discarded cards must be surrendered to the opponents. After the first five cards have been dealt, if all players agree the game may on Dari Amante. If this happens, all the cards are thrown in, and the deal passes to the next player. The first player speaks first declaring Amandi if he wishes to restart the game. This continues with each player until it reaches the dealer. If all have declared Amandi, then the game will be restarted. The game consists of three parts. Just after the hand has been dealt, all players may score their hands according to the melt points contained within. Next, normal card play occurs. Finally, the partners score any melt points that they have in their captured tricks. The scoring of melt points after card play is unique to Tarakini and Minkiet. After the cards have been dealt, each player may declare certain combinations of cards that they hold in their hand to collect meld points. They do not have to declare anything, and may optionally declare a smaller set or run than they actually have. Anything that is declared must be placed face upon the table. The decision of what to declare is an interesting strategic choice. Once the first declaration of points is finished, normal card play ensues. Note that some information has been disclosed by the declarations, so players will have more clues than usual as to the contents of the other players' hands. As in all Taraki games, there is the rule that a player that can't follow suit must trump if possible. If lacking trumps, then any card can be discarded. The fool excuses the player from following suit, it is played to the trick instead of following suit, and then retrieved to its player's pile of one tricks. The fool's player gives a low-valued card to the trick's winner at the end of the hand. If the fool's team failed to win any trick, the fool is surrendered to the opponents but this is very rare. One of the most important strategies is to capture or protect the bigato as it is very useful in scoring. 
The last trick has a bonus of 6 points. During the actual card play, the eldest is permitted to make certain signals to his partner. The current game allows only 3 signals. These are some of the formerly allowed signals. Once all tricks have been completed, the captured cards are examined for meld points. Combine these meld points with the meld points from declared at the beginning of the hand. Next, count card points in pairs with 1 point subtracted from each pair. Then add the last trick bonus. After adding the meld points with the card points and last trick bonus, the first team to reach 800 wins. It is actually possible to win at the declarations if one team can reach 800 points. If both teams can do it, the team with the higher points win. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.